Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called Colored Tablas. This plugin lets players have colored names in the tablas. So if you press tab, you'll see a bunch of players all in white, but this plugin lets them have colors and certain fonts. There's two ways that this works. You can either do it the permissions way or the group way. The group way makes it to where all the players in that group has that one color that you set. And the permission way, you can give a permission to each individual player and they'll have their own color. So it's pretty simple and easy. So just click on the link in the description, click download, click download again. Now just drag this dot jar inside your plugins folder. And then you'll also need the plugin called Vault. That'll be in the description. You can download that jar if you don't have it already. Make sure you have Vault and Color Tablets in there. Once you have both of them, just start your server. All right, so once your server starts up, you should see a new folder called Color Tablets inside of your plugins folder. Just open that up. And then you should see the config.yml, just right click on this, click edit with notepad or notepad++. So inside here you should see the settings that you can change. If you want to use permissions instead of the groups, then you can set this to true. But if you want to use the groups and have everyone in that group have the same color, then you set this to false. So you can choose either route you want to take. And um, so I'll explain the permissions first. If you're using the permissions, you can click on the link in the description and basically you just give them whatever permission color that you want so like this one's color tablets dot blue that'll make that player that you give this permission to their name appear in blue or if you want to give them a bold name you give them that permission there so it works like that and you can give them to all the players that you want to so now the groups if you want to use groups set this to false then go to groups and then basically all you have to worry about is the prefix you don't have to worry about the suffix so the prefix is basically the color code. The color code should appear on screen. And whatever color code you put, that will make your whole name appear in that color. So I'm going to change this to light green. And I'm going to change this group name to the group name that I have in my permissions folder file thing. So you can add a group. Just enter a new line, backspace all the way, line it up, and type the name of your group. Or just copy this whole thing in a new line and paste it okay and basically you can change the prefixes and whatever you set here this will go before the players name and you can give them the permission colored tablets dot prefix one colored tablets dot prefix two then three and four and five like that so let's say you give a player colored tablets dot prefix three so basically in the tablets it'll say mod and then their name so that's how the prefixes work so yeah, I'm going to show you that it works. Okay, before you head on your server, make sure if you have Essentials, you're going to have to change something. So go to Essentials, hit Edit with Notepad or Notepad++. Now go here to Ops Name Color and change this to None. Because this will kind of override what you set in the color tab list. So once you change that to None, save everything and then restart your server and head on Minecraft. Alright, so once you're in Minecraft server, you should see that the color tablets works just by pressing tab. I set my group to green and it appeared in green, so this works. And yeah, that's it for the tutorial. So if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe, share this video, and peace out, guys. I'm covering my ears like a